This is Ken Gardner with Guard Ministry. I want to come to you now. We were going to shoot a video on Kalaloo tonight, but we'll probably shoot that tomorrow because we've had a major storm come through in North Shelby County here this evening. Uh, this is a plant called Longevity Spinach. I introduced it to you before, and it's also known as the diabetes plant. And I want to talk to you a little bit about it because we're going to be doing a lot more work with it in the future. And I want you to see it as well, too. I bought four original plugs here that were very expensive and we had to wait four months before they even sent them to us so that uh, I could start this process here. Off of these and the, the fourth original plant I've already given away to one of our friends who's a gardener who's a diabetic too, severe diabetic type one and she and I gave her a cutting as well too and she's using it to propagate for herself her own diabetic uh, needs. These here are the original plants that we bought, okay? Now I took the cuttings off of those plants and created these three plants here. And so they're coming along just fine as well too. And then out of those plants right there, I was able to start these 10 new cuttings here and they will become new plants as well too. Off of those cuttings here, I got these leaves. Now with longevity spinach, all you have to do is include about four or five leaves a day into your daily diet if you're a diabetic. It helps regulate your insulation that you take in. It's been known that people with type 2 diabetes can eliminate their insulin through taking uh, longevity spinach on a regular day in their diet. Type 1 diabetics like my wife is are able to regulate their blood sugar to the point that they don't have spikes where it goes up and down. Uh, this is a very important plant to be growing and it's a very important plant for garden ministry to be growing. Right now we're working on filling up an entire greenhouse with these plants from the original three that I bought uh, through cuttings and things along that lines. Uh, sometimes you just can't grow plants from seeds all the time. Sometimes it takes a process of cuttings and things, which I'm very familiar with. I've been known in the herb community of, uh, of uh, taking leaves from scented geraniums and creating over 50 plants from one leaf. And so uh, this is a fun process for me as well too. And the funnest part about it is, is eventually we're gonna be able to have enough plants to be able to give to all the severe type one diabetics we know to have all the leaves that they need in order to regulate their blood sugar spikes up and down. If you're familiar with the disease of diabetes, it's a horrible thing to, when people go through these spikes and it's very dangerous on their brain as well too. Uh, later in the future, we'll be talking more about the longevity spinach and uh, we're gonna be trying to develop a greenhouse so that we can fill it up with nothing but longevity spinach and healing plants like aloe vera and that too, but mainly longevity spinach for diabetics. I introduced it to you before and showed you what we had going with the plugs we had come in. And I also wanted you to see the process in developing a, a, a greenhouse full of plants through cuttings. This has been Carpenter, Ken Carpenter with Garden Ministry. And uh, God bless you and uh, do everything you can to help someone else with what you grow. Amen.